Good afternoon, everybody. Beautiful day to be outdoors. I want to thank you all for coming today as we get our program underway on a very special day here for University of Arizona Athletics, the Tucson Country Club, and of course, the U of A Golf Programs. I want to welcome you again to the Tucson Country Club and the uh, William M. Bill Clements Golf Center. Uh, collegiate golf at the University of Arizona, as you well know, has been a rich tradition producing national champions, all Americans, and some of the uh, top golfers on the LPGA and PGA Tours. From Annika Sorenstam to Jim Furyk and many others, uh, this building behind me represents a permanent home for alumni, current, and future Wildcat greats. Today we honor those who have helped build these programs and open the doors to this new facility that will keep Arizona golf among the best programs in the country. As we look around this magnificent facility, uh, we'll hear about what it took to, to build it, the construction. But the real reason it exists has little to do with the concrete, the iron, the windows, the doors. Bill Clements Golf Center is here because of you, and that's it. It's the people that support Arizona athletics that make all this possible. Now, topping that list is Bill Clements, whose love and passion for the U of A will live forever. Many people to thank today. Uh, everyone couldn't be here today. Uh, and what I mean by that, the many construction workers who have spent hours making this building first rate. I was told that soon after uh, ground was broken, Rick LaRose was spotted on a backhoe digging trenches for the plumbing. So like, to thank, oh, I'm sorry, I misread that. It was Rick LaRusa who was here digging the trenches. Thank you, Rick, if you're here, appreciate all your help. Uh, I would like to recognize the prominent uh, contributors and campus partners uh, that helped make the Bill Clements Golf Center a reality. Abel Regent, Greg Patterson, U of A President Bobby Robbins, J.P. Rosniak and the entire team at the U of A Foundation, Tucson Country Club partner Steve Pearl, Niall Leslie, Steve Craddock, Rick Tornquist, Chet Nowak, and Ryan Davis. And those who worked on this project, Douglas Fredrickson Architects, Concord General Contracting, who are also hosting our reception following the ribbon cutting, EEC Engineering, Lori Carroll and Associates, LLC Interior Design, Graphic Impact Signage and Graphics, and ARC Studios Landscaping, Thank you for all your hard work in bringing this to reality. The William M. Bill Clements uh, project would not have been possible without the significant support and generosity of many individuals. And to recognize the contributions, please welcome Erica Barnes, Executive Senior Associate Athletic Director and Senior Women Associate. Wow, thank you very much, Brian. Uh, what a what a again, we always have that utmost professional um in one of our some of our most important ceremonies. Um we want to thank um so many of you um that have contributed to this, but you're gonna hear a lot from the Clements family. Um you're also gonna hear from Coach L Rick LaRose. But uh one thing I wanted to recognize um at John and Marsha Orca uh several years ago that um, my husband, and for some of you that don't know, my husband played here from 1995 to 99, and my um, brother-in-law played from 99 to 2003, and then went on to win the U.S. Amateur in 03. My husband was um, recruited by Coach L Rick LaRose, and in 1994, on his recruiting trip when he was 17, he showed him blueprints for a golf facility. And so here we are. He's 47. And we're about to cut the ribbon. And um, just to show the, a little bit of the tradition um, and what a what a wildcat tradition, which you hear about from Coach Anderson and Coach Ionello, um, that also played here. Um, I think it's really neat that Andy um, is caddying for Charlie Hoffman, whose parents went to U of A, and Ricky Barnes and his caddy is Derek Gillespie, who also played. So. Um, it's a, a, a beautiful testament to Coach LaRose and the tradition. I and mean, this is just another testament that this is going to continue this tradition uh, for another 30 years. So um, they send their best from there. So, again, we wanted to thank, um, in, for those that have um, given significant gifts, and when you have a tour later, you're going to see um, their names up in several places like so many of you. Um, so just to start, I want to read off um, some of them that are, here in attendance today. First of all, Jenny Clements, Ken Coit, Humberto and Zarina Lopez, 
Tim and Jane Garrigan, Jim and Karen Berwick, Dave and Shondi Berwick, Kimberly Clemens, Jim and Vicki Click, Brian and Chris Hogan, Tom and Joanne Cabido, Roger Conchola and family. And then not in attendance today, but we all appreciate and recognize their support. Um, the Thunderbirds um, outside of Phoenix, it was um, their first significant get gift outside of Maricopa County. So it's a great partnership with them. And another Wildcat that is still playing this week and so could not be here, um, Jim and Tabitha Furick. And then finally, Peter and Nancy Salter. Um, Peter was a uh, 1965 grad. He was a U of A golf letter winner. Nancy and Peter have been so philanthropic um, around the entire university, and they live up in Phoenix. They also have a house in Pine Top where they host an annual U of A event up there. And so uh, the short game area is named after Peter and Nancy Salter. So uh, thank you to them. All right, thanks. We look forward to a wonderful event. All right, thank you, Erica. In uh, just two short months on the job, Desiree Reed Francois has made an immediate impact on Arizona athletics. Most notably, if I can add, connecting with the student athletes on campus. They love having her, and she's made an immediate impression on all of them. So we would like to welcome the, well, can, can I still call you new? Five weeks, not 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 new anymore. Please welcome Vice President and Director of Athletics Desiree Reed Francois. Hold down your notes there. It is absolutely fantastic to be home. You know, I uh, was talking to Maya earlier, and Maya was talking to me about just coming here and having a home. So thank you so much for giving a home to our student athletes. You know, I, um, I've only been here five, this is actually week six, and I am incredibly grateful to be back home here in Tucson. But you know, I, I don't deserve any credit for being up here. I wanna give a special thank you um, to Dave Hickey and to President Bobby Robbins. Um, I know there are so many people that gave their heart and souls, and I'm so excited to hear Coach LaRose speak earlier. I think it's been 40 plus years that you have wanted this, and I cannot wait to hear from our coaches too. Um, I know that there may, may be some emotions because you got, this has been a labor of love for all of you. So on behalf of our 508 student athletes, and I say 508 student athletes, because when you invest in our golfers, you're investing in all of them. So on behalf of our 508 student athletes, thank you for giving my golfers a home. Thank you for caring about our student athletes and making the University of Arizona Athletics not just a national powerhouse, but this is the absolute best golf facility in the entire country. Thank you to the Clements family. You know, I, I moved my offices, uh, I think the second or third week that I got here to the Ginny L. Clements Academic Center. And thank you for your generosity for that. Every day I get a chance to walk through and see student athletes and it fills my heart with absolute joy. They're the reasons why we do what we do. So I can promise you one thing. I promise you we will always make them the center of what we do and we will work hard to make you all proud. Thank you. Bear down. Well, as mentioned, Arizona golf is a success because of the people. And that starts with two of the best coaches in the nation. Both have been named Pac-12 Coach of the Year during their time leading our programs. Laura Ionello has been part of two national championships, one as a student athlete in 2000 and one as head coach in 2018. So please welcome the women's head coach at the U of A, Laura Ionello. Good evening. Um, thank you. 
Well, first off, uh, I want to start this evening with, um, again, just with a lot of thank yous. Thank you so much uh, to the, all of the donors that have really, oh, sorry, have um, made our dreams come true with this golf facility. Uh, I, too, Erica, talking about Andy um, and how Coach LaRose showed those plans of the golf facility. I, too, back in 1998, saw the plans of this golf facility that was as a recruit. And um, I also have to do a very big special thank you to Bobby Robbins. Um, I met you for the first time um, your first year as president. We were in Pine Top, and the first thing you ever said to me is, that, you know what, we're going to get you an amazing facility. And I was kind of like, okay, yeah, thanks, great, probably. Um, <laughs> and you meant that, and so thank you. And, and, and JP with the foundation, everything that you have done. Um, Coach Rick LaRose. Uh, you and, and Niall Leslie, I remember you guys coming to us with this little napkin from TCC, and you're like, Blondie, we got a plan, and we are going to build you a golf facility, and here's the napkin, and you had it all drafted out of 40-plus um, years of dedication to this university and our golf programs, and the man that recruited me to be a Wildcat. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, Coach. And... Um, <laughs> there are so many people to thank. I could be up here for hours and hours thanking everyone, but someone too so special to this project and, and special to me is uh, Brent Blaylock. Brent, thank you. You helped everything with every meeting. Jim and I had so many questions back and forth. You helped to to building this project with with Concord to also helping us pick out every pillow, every table, you name it, you did it. Thank you. And with that, my partner in crime there, Mr. Jim Anderson. I can't thank you enough for just being the, the best person to work with as well. So um, with that, I want to talk about why we we have a home now. Um, I've been at Arizona now for 27 years, and we've been all over the, the city. You know, we've had amazing relationships with other clubs. And um, to now have this new home, this new partnership with Tucson Country Club is so special. And um, it's a new partnership, but it's going to impact our student, li our student athletes' lives so much because now they have a home. And what I mean by home is, you know, we have so many student athletes that come from all over the world, or even like my uh, my team who's from Tucson. But you know, living in a dorm is not that glorious and, and glamorous. So these kids have a home, and they have a home where they're going to continue to improve their games. They're going to live their dreams if it's playing professional golf or you know being a future CEO or whatever that is they've they've got a home where they've got the tools and the resources and the support with coach Jim and, and Matt and Braden here for them every day and and with that um, some pretty amazing stuff that you're going to see in there with trackman range and the putt view lab and 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 everything else and club repair um, which we've never had we've always had to outsource and go to the PGA superstore and things like that so really really cool um Another great area is we're going to be able to showcase the history here, the history of Arizona golf. I'm going to give you some quick facts. Why this place is so great and why I love it, and that's why I get so emotional because it's just it's home to me and I love it. But we have won four national championships. We have won, yes, 164 team tournament championships over the years, 15 major championships. Like I'm talking L, like major championships, like the Masters, the Women's Open, all those good things. 176 professional golf wins, two former players in the World Golf Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. That is what this is going to continue to bring, this facility. And um, the William M. Bill Clements Golf Center is a dream come true. And um, thank you. Thank you guys for everything, and, and we've, we're going to continue to make you proud. I promise you that. Um, I'd like to introduce now... Our, our amazing men's golf coach, Jim Anderson, my guy. Come on up, Jim. Good afternoon. Um, thank you, Laura, for, for your remarks and your heartfelt speech. Um, I know better than to get assigned second to follow Laura and Ello on a speech. Um, but I was drawing the short card tonight. Only once did I draw the short card tonight, though, because quite honestly, um, I feel like one of the luckiest 
people alive um, to get to be a part of this program, get to lead this program, um, have a wonderful team that's doing some great things this this year, um, and uh, to get to call so many of you here in the crowd friends. Um, I, I really mean that. And uh, speaking to some of the thoughts that we shared on May 17th, 10 months ago, a shout out to Concord on an unbelievable job with the project. Um, and uh, groundbreaking was just here 10 months ago. And we talked about this facility being a home and the importance of having a real home for our teams to, to build relationship, to share time, to do all the things that, that we all get to do as family when we go home. And I think the way we lead our teams, the way we choose to, to, to be together with our teams. I speaking with Coach Ionello and, and her teams. I know they do the same thing. We feel family. And so you folks in the crowd here, you're, you're family with Arizona Golf. And um, we're, we're just incredibly blessed. Uh, uh, so many thank yous to share, President Robbins. Um, we, 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 we wouldn't be here without you. And really, I, I just commend the job you do and, and the leadership that you demonstrate. And uh, I know it's not easy, and I and I I know that you you've done some amazing things for us, and you'll, you'll forever be indebted. Um, JP with the foundation, very creative project, very challenging to get to where we needed to be. You and your team have been a plus to work with from day one. Thank you for all you've done. Uh, the Tucson Country Club, the members, the staff, the board have been so welcoming. Um, I think it's great to share this physical location. But I think the relationships that are going to continue to, to unfold and open up will only enhance uh, future lives for our team and, 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 and hopefully provide you with two teams that you're incredibly proud of. Um, we, we couldn't do it without every one of you as well. Um, also, you know, the donors that are sitting here, all of you who made, made this possible, um, you know, it, it'd be really fun to have open invitations for an event like this. And certainly this facility is going to be shared and welcomed. But the reason you all are here is because you believe in us and you believe in this program and you believe in, in what, what we're doing to try to help young men and young women continue to, to grow and continue to chase their dream to be a professional, but also have some really, really good backup plans for what life could entail if competition or competitive golf isn't part of that. And, uh, you know, the history that we share on the on the walls that you'll see, I, I, I really challenge you to spend some time in that champion's room. Coach Ionello touched on it so perfectly. Um, the history here of this program and having 40 years of, of success has really uh, created an opportunity for us to share a day like this. And time is such an incredible thing because, you know, I think there's moments where you think about 40 years and it's like, wow, that took forever. I'm, I'm really excited to hear Coach LaRose later too because I know he's going to have some some great con uh, context on, 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 on how we got here um, and perspective. But on the other hand, two things move so quickly. You know, we, 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 we're here now and it's, and it's, it's an exciting moment to think about 10 months ago, this was part of deserted area and uh, part of a driving range over here. And, and now we share this great space and have a home to call our own. So um, it's incredible uh, to, to, to think of those things. I, I was kind of thinking today was a little bit like a wedding because, uh, you know, it's, everyone's really excited. Um, and, uh, you know, the people who are here, you're also the people who sit at the football games. Some of you are up in the suites. Some of you are on the sidelines. Every one of you is at the football games. And, and thank you for your support of that. Um, I see many of you on the sidelines of the basketball games. I see you at softball and baseball games. So many other events. It's because you're the people who invest in Arizona and Arizona athletics. And, the fact that you're sitting here and you you want to be a part of the Arizona golf program pro provides us with so much pride and it gives us so much energy and we just can't say thank you. Um, we can't say thank you enough because uh, we, we really just feel so empowered to, to make you proud and, and really work as hard as we can to accomplish all the things we've done in the past and, and the things we're set to do in the future. This facility is going to provide us with the opportunity to compete at a national level and do it at an even higher level now. Uh, where we are the team to beat or we want to be the team to beat. Um, both teams are having great years, ranked in the top 20 right now and excited for the postseason. Good luck to our women's team leaving tomorrow for Pullman, Washington in the final Pac-12. Uh, our men's team's heading up to, to Scottsdale the week after to, to compete at Desert Forest. Uh, so with that, I, I, I do want to say um, to, you know, a special shout out to a few other people. Um, our Arizona Athletics Department really is a family. 
And we're very, very fortunate to have the support of so many. Um, our Wildcat Club has done a great job of having the opportunity to do this. Um, so thank you to, to everyone in the Wildcat Club. Um, Desiree, thank you for your leadership. Um, it's been great to get to work with you for a short time now, but I know this is going to be a, a really, really great future for all of us. Um, you mentioned earlier, Dave Hickey played a, a great role in helping us get to this point too. And it, it really, it takes a village to, to, to do something like this. So um, thank you to all of you. Um, Jeff Kohler, he didn't get a shout out yet, but he's, he's the person behind a lot of the technology in there. And I'm kind of a techie guy. So um, Jeff, I don't know if he's out there tonight, but Jeff certainly um, deserves a shout out too. And, and I, I do want to say a special heartfelt thank you to Brent Blaylock. Um, there I see Brent. Uh, he's, he's the person who's really kept us on point with the things we need to do and uh, awesome person to work with, great friend. And uh, really, this, is, this has been a huge success for those of you who know Brent. Um, you know how great he is at his job and he's really tied everything together and done a great job. So Brent, thank you from our teams and from myself too. Um, the last thing I would say, and I want to introduce our student athletes, um, but Coach LaRose, uh, I know this is this is a very special day for, for all of us, um, but I am just honored to get to share it with you because this is the reason that the reason that we have so much history uh, on both programs, but especially on the men's program is because of the success you had for 34 years as the coach here. And you have set an incredibly high bar. Um, I know how proud you are of your program and this program and the things that we're doing together. And to get to see you realize this day and get to to see a dream that you sh you, you had decades ago, um, not to date you, you know, if, 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 it's, a, if, it's, a, if it's a wedding, you, you can be the dad. I don't know, maybe you'd be going into the granddad, but, um, uh, but you have, uh, really set the bar for a day like this. And I'm just, I'm just so glad that we get to share this day with you because we wouldn't be, we would not be here if, if you hadn't had a dream and a vision for the programs that you coached, um, to build the programs, to continue to grow. And the example that you set that way, it, it, it charges me every single day. And uh, I, I, I promise I'll work my hardest to make you and everyone here in, in, in the audience very proud of the team that uh, I hope you meet. And I, I, I say this because I want you to go up to our guys and make them talk to you because we're working on that. Um, but we have a great group of guys and uh, we, we certainly are, are really excited about that. But coach, congratulations to you as well. And uh, thank you all for such a, a great evening tonight. Thank you for the opportunity to say a few words. Um, we have many head coaches in the building too. And, you know, this, this wedding analogy, just to wrap up too, is, you know, you're, you're kind of sending off two of your children now to the next step with this building. And uh, Laura and I couldn't be more excited for the future of our program. And, uh, you know, we're probably still going to need your help in some areas. So, um, you know, but, but we have a great, a great place to get going with our teams and our programs and a happy home that we are going to be competing with winning national champions with at championships with and making you proud. So bear down. Thank you so much. I now have the pleasure to introduce two senior student athletes. Both are in the Eller schools management. Both have been part of their travel squads from day one um, from our ladies team, Gile Bitte Starkute and from our men's team, Sam Summerhauser. Um, I just want to start off by thanking everybody here for the support of both the men's and women's team. Um, I've been here for four years, and I can tell you there's no better place to play college golf than here at the University of Arizona. Um, under Coach Anderson and Coach Matt, it's been some of the best years of my life, and I'm just um, so happy that we were able to call Tucson Country Club our new home, and um, it wouldn't be possible without everyone, everyone here's support. So we're super excited, and thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Um, I committed to Arizona almost six years ago, and I'm not going to lie, there were a lot of things that I wasn't sure about. I wasn't sure about moving to a new country. I wasn't sure if I was good enough to play college golf, but I knew one thing for sure. 
was that I was committing to a program of champions and then my time here is going to be an opportunity of a lifetime. And there's a lot of things that make this program so special. So I want to just list them. Our amazing coaches, Coach Laura and Coach Brayden that are sitting right there. Our athletic support staff, Emily, Jennifer, our strength and conditioning coach, Chris, our trainer, Justin, and most importantly, the amazing team that's sitting right there in the third row. Um, they, we all come from all over the world. We have Italy, Germany, France, uh, Thailand, Argentina, Kansas, Tucson, Lithuania. But the one thing that connects us all is the love for the game, the hard work that we put in when we study or we practice, and the heart that we have when we compete for the University of Arizona. And honestly, I could not ask for a better group of people that I call my family now. Um, but once again, none of this would be ever possible without our community, which is all of you guys. Um, you believe in us, you support us through our highs and lows, you invest in our future and our education, um, and you make our dreams come true because right now you gave us a home, this beautiful facility that I'm so excited about um, that will help us grow, improve, and make hopefully all of you in Arizona proud. Um, so on behalf of my whole entire team, we are so grateful and thank you so much. And um, Arizona has become my forever home. This program has made me into the person that I am today. Uh, it prepared me for the future. Um, it made my dreams come true of playing college golf. Um, and so for the future of this team that I'm very, very sad to leave, uh, with all of your support and with how hardworking all the players are, I know that the future of Arizona women's golf is really, really bright. So you have made this program into a program of champions. So thank you all of you so much and bear down for life. Thank you, Gilly and Sam. Uh, I've never played golf with uh, Dr. Robbins. Probably a good thing he'd take all my money. Uh, but in all seriousness, uh, Dr. Robbins has a great love for all the athletic programs on the U of A campus. But I know because he has a love for the game of golf, this is a very special day for him. So please welcome the president of the University of Arizona, Dr. Robert Robbins. Good afternoon. I, uh, I have a lot of prepared remarks that, of course, I left over there with JP because uh, everything that uh, should be said has already been said, just hasn't been said by me. So uh, I'll try to keep it short, but I may ramble a little bit. Uh, first of all, uh, what about our students? I think Desiree nailed it. I am so proud to be the president of this great university and the students that we have. And the two students who got up and spoke to us now, I think you had hired them in your businesses uh, to come and work for you after they finished off their great golf career, wherever that may be. So congratulations to all the success you're having and that you're going to have in the postseason. I, uh, I, I want to talk to you. I, I try to move in and out and talk to them every once in a while. I, most of the time, I don't think they have any idea who I am, just some old guy wanting to, to, to chat them up. But those, uh, those fairways at Pasatiempo are pretty narrow, and those greens are notorious. So uh, you did well there, and, and congratulations on this, uh, this recent outing. When, uh, yeah. Um, you know, Laura and Jim, I, I always pick up people on airplanes and around golf courses, and I always call up with great enthusiasm. You wouldn't believe it. I just met this incredible player, and... You know, the, you know, it, it's uh, I, I'm I'm the chief recruiter and hopefully the chief retention officer of the university. And if you look at my ex account, I'm the chief storyteller and enthusiast for the university. And I don't know that any of those players <laughs> that I ever met in all my travels ever ended up coming. But uh, I, I won't I won't uh, keep uh, doing that for uh, the time as being a wildcat for life. I will always think about it. If I see a good golfer and they're young, I say you got to consider University of Arizona because I know Coach LaRose is going to talk about the history and all the stuff. But I, I took on the mission of going around and looking at, at great university golf facilities, and I agree with Desiree. This is absolutely the best. Um, I, I went to Wake Forest and looked at the Arnold Palmer uh, golf facility. It's, it's good. It's good. Uh, Jim Click, I have been to the uh, the Oklahoma State facility, Karsten Creek. That was pretty special, I have to admit. It may be a tie, Desiree. I don't know. It's, uh, it's a pretty special place. 
But this is new. It's for us. It's for our students and for the program. And it's going to be an incredible recruiting tool for our coaches. And I know, um, you know, I, I, I can't even begin to tell the thousands of hours and people who have made this day possible. I'm just glad that I'm here uh, to see it. When I got here, uh, I met uh, Andy Weil, and I'm going to have the opportunity to, to cut the ribbon on his new building. And he's someone who is a, a guru of integrative medicine. And I told him, I'm so excited. I want to come and see your center. He said, don't, uh, don't get too excited because it's a little adobe house off the size that we're going to build you a facility. And with JP's help and a lot of donors' help, this project and that project, 100% funded by philanthropic gifts. So all of the donors, thank you for making all of these, uh, all of these projects so successful. Um, I came here also thinking, I am a, I'm a golf enthusiast, but all of you who play with me know that I really am bad at golf, but that's okay. I like the line, I shoot 81 every time because I take 81 strokes and I just quit. So I should, I, I should shoot every one, 81 every time, coach. But uh, I had hoped I was going to come here and that Laura and Jim were going to teach me how to you know, play the game and get better. And as everyone knows, I've only gotten worse. Now, a little of that is I have to check my birth certificate, but I just, just cannot get over to my front side. And I'm looking forward to this facility, hopefully helping me in the next couple of months uh, uh, get better. Um, Jenny Clemens, thank you. Thank you for this. Uh, we could not have done it without you. We couldn't have done, yes. There's so many things at this university that we have to thank you for. And um, I know the Breast Center is very, very special to you. I know this facility is very, very special to you. But the lives that you impact with the Academic Center, and I, I'm just so thrilled that Desiree chose to put her office there. Um, now, I have to say, we've got big plans. Uh, I have a dream. I have a dream that one day we're going to build an entire athletics department office complex just to the, uh, just to the east of the Jenny Clement Center. Um, that's going to, that's going to mess up some things with beach volleyball, but I, I may not be here to see that dream, but I have a dream. Uh, it, but Jenny, you've done so much for this university, you and Kimberly, your entire family, uh, so many others here. Well, I'm not going to go through all the names, but just know how much I personally appreciate everything that you've done, uh, all of you have done, uh, and most importantly for your support and your friendship. And so I'm not sure who's next, Brian, but I'm going to stop right now. I'm happy to take any questions. I, I, I came here from the Board of Regents meeting, and this is such a beautiful thing. Finally, finally, my watch tells me it's 90 degrees, so I didn't have to wear a coat to this event because, as you know, I like the warm weather, and it's getting, it's getting really good right now. But I love you all. Bear down. Go Cats. All right, thank you, Dr. Robbins. Rick LaRose coached the Arizona golf programs from 1978 through 2012. He is the only coach in NCAA history to guide both a men's and women's Division I team to a national championship. A member of four Hall of Fames, please welcome Rick LaRose. Well, first of all, I want you to know I did not coach Pete Salter. And I also want you to know, according to Mike Kendry, I did not share an office with Pop McHale. <laughs> well, with that being said, I'm going to be give you a little bit of Paul Harvey today. I'm going to tell you the rest of the story. I've worked for nine university presidents here, and I've worked for nine athletic directors, and now I'd like to add 10 and 11 because I'd like to consider Desiree and Coach Candrea on that list, even though I didn't have to answer to them, thank God, especially especially Mike. <laughs> I came here to coach swimming and water polo, and Dave Strack, the athletic director, asked me if I would like to be the golf coach, 
and that was in 1977. And I was still coaching swimming and water polo and golf all at the same time for two years, three, three sports together for two years. That kept me pretty busy. But in 1978, I met a gentleman, and his name was Bill Clements. I didn't know Bill very well. I knew that he owned a beer distributorship, which was pretty good. And I needed to raise the level of our golf program. We were just not going anywhere in golf, and we needed to get to be a national power in golf. And I asked Bill, I said, Bill, I'd like to raise some money, and I want to do it with a, a fundraising tournament. And do you think you might be able to help me out? Without hesitation, Bill Clements said, well, absolutely. He says, hey, I'm just a little beer salesman. And so off it went. We had the Golden Eagle Wildcat Tournament from 1979 to 2013. And it was the most successful fundraising uh, college golf tournament in the country. And the first year, actually, and Jenny will remind you, uh, we we netted $90. But over the period of time, we netted about four and a half million dollars. And that got our chance for our programs to sustain themselves over all those years. We basically rose our whole budget except for salaries. And uh, a lot of that is because of Bill Clements and the Golden Eagle Wildcat Tournament. And then in 1984, we had the Pac-10 Golf Championships here at Tucson Country Club. And... I kept thinking to myself, wow, what a place this would be if we could just be here all the time. <clears throat> well, things kind of moved on from that. It became a dream of mine. And then in 1985, a couple of friends of mine, George and David Meal, started a little resort called La Paloma. And I said, hey, we'd love to have you guys use that as our home course. I said, fine, that'd be great. And also, it developed a, a U.S. Amateur champion in Eric Meeks. And then in 1990... We had a new course called Star Pass, which opened up. Oh, Coach, we'd love to have you use this as our home course. They gave us one end of the range, and it worked out pretty good. And Robert Gamez won his first professional golf tournament there the very first time he tried. It was a pretty good place for us. In 1995, I met a guy named Larry Lippin, and he owned the Raven Golf Club in uh, Phoenix, and he built one here in Tucson. And Larry said, we need to have the Wildcats out here. There it goes. And then in about 19, around 1999, 2000, Jeff Silverstein and IRI Golf bought the Raven, turned it into Arizona National. We spent a little bit of time there, won about two or three national championships out of there, developed another uh, U.S. Amateur champion named Ricky Barnes, and uh, pretty successful. And these are some of the plans I used to show Laura all the time, because this, this was going to be our home. Well, I carried around with me a notebook for 2000 to 2014 with 33 different site scenarios of where we could have a practice facility. I spent a lot of time walking around the dirt in places you've never been in this town. And we came up with some ideas, one of which was the Arizona, the University of Arizona Karsten Turfgrass Research Center. And... Uh, the director at the time was uh, Merle Jensen, and he thought, this, oh, my God, we'll get you here. We'll have a driving range, and we'll have a living laboratory for our turf grass research. Well, Merle retired, and that kind of fell through the cracks. Well, then we picked up the College of Life Sciences because agriculture turned into life sciences, and Dean Burgess thought, you know, why can't we revisit that? And uh, our athletic director at the time was uh, uh, Greg Bowling. And we met with them a bunch of times, and we had plans all drawn out, schematics, and then it got nixed somewhere along the line. And then something really fabulous happened. Bobby Robbins became president of the University of Arizona. That is one of the most important days in my golfing history. Bobby loves golf, and we needed to have a facility. And in 2018, almost coinciding with it, there was a young lady who played golf at Iowa State University, was out practicing on her golf course late in the afternoon, and was killed by an illegal alien. And right then and there, every university in the country was warned, you better take care of your student athletes, make them safe. And I'm thinking, Bobby, we got to do something. So I talked to Wade Dunnigan, who was the, direct, uh, the 
the general manager here at Tucson Country Club. And I said, Wade, what do you think about getting the Arizona Wildcats out here? It's something I dreamed about for a long time. And Wade said, I think we can get that done. And the membership at Tucson Country Club got behind us. 98.5% of the members were in favor of having us here. And some of the local people in this town who I went to see right away said, yes, we can do that. And I went to Bobby and I said, Bobby, we got to raise some money. And Bobby Robbins and I spent a lot of time talking to people and raising money. And one afternoon, I remember talking to a young lady named Jenny Clements. I said, Jenny, if you think you'd go to lunch with me, I need to talk to you about something. I also got to tell you that Tom Rogers, your lovely husband, kind of goaded me into this. <laughs> and so Jenny and I met, and I said, Jenny, I, I want to build a practice facility at Tucson Country Club. It's something we've worked on. Bill and I used to talk about it. I need to get a little money from you if I could. And we talked about an amount, and, and she said, oh, yeah, I'll do, I can do that. And I said, oh, that guy, Bill, would be so happy. He says, well, wait a minute. Bill, tell you what, let me give you twice that much, and let's put Bill's name on it. That was just such a special day for me. I remember exactly where we were, and I'll never forget it. And then I called Bobby and said, Bobby, we need to get going. We started breaking ground. I sent him pictures every time a bulldozer would show up. And people would come up to me and come up to our my friends and go, Ah, oh, you're never going to have this here. That's never going to happen. Sorry, that's that's, that's not going to happen. Well, you know what? Take a look. And that's not the whole story, because the story is continuing. We've got great student athletes. We've got a great facility, and we've got great coaches. And we're moving forward in the best practice facility in the whole country. Bear down, go Cats. You made an old man very happy and sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Rick. Jenny Clements is a national treasure. Jenny has given like no other to this community. Married to her late husband, Bill, for nearly 30 years, Jenny has dedicated her life to the betterment of others. She's raised millions of dollars for numerous nonprofits and served on over 50 boards, both locally and nationally. The awards bestowed upon Jenny would take up an entire section at the U of A Library. Jenny's name sits on one of the most important buildings on campus, and that's the Jenny L. Clements Academic Center. Since it opened in 2016, Wildcat student athletes have had record setting years in the classroom. Academics have always been of keen interest to Jenny and Bill. In 1979, Bill established the Golden Eagle Awards, and with Arizona Athletics, for over a decade, the Golden Eagle Awards and Golden Eagle Academic Champion Awards that have been given to young athletes, not only for their individual athletic achievements, but also for their ability to maintain a 3.0 GPA in the classroom. Bill passed away in 1995 and left behind a legacy of giving that continues to this day, thanks to Jenny and Bill's children, Chris and Kimberly. Tucson Citizen of the Century, I will bestow upon that her today. Please welcome Jenny Clements. Wow, that's all I have to say right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Today is a very, very special day, not only for the University of Arizona women and men's golf team, but for my family and me. We are truly, truly humbled and overwhelmed by seeing this incredible building dedicated to my late husband, and Kimberly and Chris's father, William M. Bill Clements, who passed away 29 years ago. As was said, Bill was always generous and kind to so many organizations in this community. 
And one of them was the U of A golf program like Rick LaRose mentioned. He had a motto that he shared on the desk at Golden Eagle Distributors. Be humble to everyone, period. And he lived by that motto. I can remember the meeting that Dave Hickey, Laura Ionello, Jim Anderson, Vicki Fleischer, and Eric Barnes attended. I told them a story about Bill's generosity to the athletic department over the years and what he did for the golf pro program at the U of A. Then I said, this is what I want to be the lead donor in memory of my bill. We all had tears in our eyes. It was a wonderful afternoon, and I'm so blessed that I'm able to do that, was able to do that. Bill loved the game of golf. He wasn't a great player. Maybe he didn't even have 81. Uh, Dr. Robbins. <laughs> he loved the co camaraderie with the men that he played with, and a lot of you are here today, and I thank you for that. He loved being with you. First of all, I want to thank also Tucson Country Club for allowing this building to be built for the University of Arizona Men and Women's Golf. I shall never, never forget your generosity. Thank you so, so much. Also, I especially want to give a big shout, and already Erica mentioned this, to the Phoenix Thunderbirds, who for the first time made a donation out of Maricopa County in the amount of $1 million to this project. I was so touched by that donation because Bill Clements loved being a Thunderbird while we lived in Phoenix many, many years ago. Thank you also to all the donors. A lot of you are in this audience helping get this building started. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You have touched my heart by your donations to this project. Thank you. But I'm not through yet, as there is one very special couple and I know Erica mentioned their names, that I also want to thank, and that is Nancy and Peter Salter for their huge donation and kindness. Thank you so, so much. Erica, it was so wonderful, as always, working with you. Phil and your entire staff, Thank you for everything you did to make this building such a success. Thank you, Erica. Bobby Robbins. You are the best president I've ever served under. I just publicly want you to know that. I've served under about three or four, and by far, you surpass all of them. And I'm very grateful for all you've done for the University of Arizona. Thank you, Bob. J.P. Rosinek, I've served with you for about 18 years, I think, and I'm still serving with you if she still have me. Thank you, thank you for everything you do too. I really do appreciate what you have done. Thank you. 
Last but not least, another big shout out is to Concord Construction and the owner, J.B. Nyman. J.B., where are you? Back there? There you are. And your superintendent, Tom Rose, and all the employees that worked on this project. As everybody has said, it is an absolute beautiful facility. You were very open to my requests, and I thank you for that. I also want to recognize them for underwriting the reception that will take place after the ribbon cutting. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy this moment. Enjoy this building, and thank you, oh, for coming to the William M. Bill Clements Golf Center ribbon cutting. Thank you so much. God bless you all, and bear down, Wildcats. All right, Jenny, before you sit down, it's time to cut the ribbon, okay? So I'd like to invite our ribbon-cutting experts. Please don't run with your scissors. Uh, Jenny Clements, Kimberly Clements, Colt McKenzie, Chris Clements, Desiree Reed Francois, and Dr. Robert Robbins, along with our head coaches, Laura Ionello and Jim Anderson. All right. I want to add one more thanks, uh, Tara Bruce, Roberta Stout, who put this night together. Thank you very much for all your hard work. Guess what? The golf center is open. Come on in. Self-guided tours, reception, enjoy, and uh, take a look at this remarkable facility. Thanks for being here tonight. Bear down.